everyone. Hello, my name is Donna. Now I'm going to introduce how water transported in the plant. The place that carry water in the plant is silent. Let's see what happened in that. Three factors that affect silent transport are root pressure, capillarity, and cohesion theory. First, root pressure is a power that push the water into silent. Through the root, because root pressure is a positive pressure at the root level, the functions of root pressure are water uptake and mineral uptake. The mineral will be uptaken from the root in the form of ions that solute in water. Because of ions, it will decrease the water potential of plant and induce water uptake. Root pressure is generated as follows that the Casparian band prevents the movement of water back to the cortex. Therefore, the continual influx of water causes a positive pressure to develop which forces water up the steam in the asylum. Here are the Casparian band. Look at the picture. You will see the pink lines in the two pictures. These are Casparian bands. This picture shows how water transported in the silo. After water uptaken by the root, it will carry by silo. The factors that allow water flow up to the silo are cohesion and adhesion. The power that uptake the water to the leaf leaves in its transpiration, and the cohesion led the water can be transported continuously. Then, a dehension let the water can climb up through the wall inside the cider. Another factor affect water transported in a plant is capillarity. Capillarity contributes to the rise of step in the cider. It's like the water pour another water go on the cider. When water cluster together, they will pull each other to go up. The surface tension of water also contributes to the capillary rise. Water evaporation from cell walls of mesophyll cells in leaf is the driving force. And plus the factors that I mentioned before, the water can be transported to the leaf and even any place in the plant. The end. Thank you for your listening.